Well, hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me, Sahil Jaktiani, where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene. And in today's episode, we're doing a much anticipated, much awaited review of all these three guitars, pitting them against each other. It's the Strat budget shootout, guitars under 10,000 rupees. But before we get into that, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell. No vanity shots means it's going to be a long one. We also usually do uh, a section where we show you the specs of each of these guitars. Unfortunately, okay, I was not able to get a proper spec list for the Cadence or for the Vault. Um, it's a little surprising that, you know, the, the details are not properly listed on their site. The only one that had a decent amount of details was the, the Magnus Strat, okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, I was, I was kind of disappointed. I don't even know the radius of, uh, uh, you know, these two guitars. Although by playing them, it's like similar to this. I think they're, they're all 14, to be honest with you. But still, uh, that was one drawback, the first drawback that I saw amongst, you know, all the listings. So now let's get into the comparison. I'm going to have 12 categories, okay. Uh, we're going to discuss how each of these guitars, uh, you know, is in each of those categories, compare them with each other, hopefully get a winner for each of those categories and at the end, um, you know, have a score sheet which shows you which is the best guitar under 10,000 rupees in terms of the Strat body shape. All right, let's get to it. Uh, the first category, price. This lists for 6,999 rupees online. Uh, I got a deal for 6,500 on Amazon. You get these deals with, you know, the bags and stuff like that for 6,500. Uh, decently priced. This is usually 7,500 rupees. You can get it as low as 7,000 rupees. This is an open box piece, okay? I did an unboxing video for this particular uh, guitar and uh, unfortunately, um, even though it was listed as an open box piece, uh, you know, the damage was not properly uh, listed. So it's going back after this review okay so don't uh, uh, you know be too critical in terms of uh, the look in the uh, you know the feel of it because yes it's it's uh, a, an open box piece with some dings on the side but the sound would be the same uh, you know the playability uh, you know would be the same so yeah and of course i will judge them on how they send the guitar whether it's an open box piece or a closed box the setup should be done in the same manner so yeah so if you haven't seen that particular unboxing video go and check it out it's up there in the card somewhere all right um, so I got this at a lower price but you can get this for about 7,000 rupees on Amazon or on Bajao maybe even lower if you add one of those you know instant four codes or something like that you go and check it out this uh, retails a lot higher about 11,000 rupees but um, there, there are I think on like a, you know long-term sale for 8,900 rupees which is a really good deal for this okay um, however, in terms of this category, the lowest price is of course the Cadence, so the winner is the Cadence. So let's talk about the delivery experience, okay. Um, all these three guitars were packed pretty well, right. I have no complaints. Uh, it was not like the big player debacle that I went through when I ordered it on Amazon and it came in a plastic uh, covering and, you know, the guy was holding it upside down and, you know, was tearing up the headstock. But anyway, um, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's up there somewhere. Uh, I have no complaints about how any of these guitars were packed. This was packed really well. This was packed really well. Uh, this wins it for me because it came in a proper thick padded gig bag and that adds another layer of protection. So yeah, Magna wins this particular category. Talking about padded gig bags, let's get to the accessories section. This came with a thin uh, gig bag, um, it came with some uh, plectrums, it came with a guitar strap, uh, other than that, nothing, but that, that was quite good, okay. Uh, this came with nothing, so that was a bit of a disappointment. At this price, you should be at least giving, you know, a very thin Bajao gig bag, so yeah, that, that was a major no-no. This is the clear winner in terms of accessories. A thick uh, padded gig bag, uh, plectrums, a tuner, a polishing cloth, a high quality cable. I'm talking high quality cable, okay? 
I would I would estimate about three thousand rupees, two and a half to three thousand rupees worth of accessories. You know, so that adds a lot of value. So for the category of accessories with the guitar, definitely the Magnus Strat wins it. So let's get to the fourth category. It's currently two to one. Um, let's see who wins it. Uh, the category is called look and feel and design. Uh, let's not even let's not even go there too much. Mm. The paint job is phenomenal. Okay, on this, without a doubt. But why I really want to, you know, praise uh, the Stridum guys is this fretboard is rolled. Okay, it feels incredible. Really, really wonderful. All right, um, and the neck is a nice thin C, a modern C. This they say is a D on the side. There's no way that this is a D. Okay, this is not a D. I mean, if you're a D, then Ibanez, you've not done your homework. All right. Um, this is like a normal C, like maybe even a chunky C. Okay, um, not very comfortable as this. This is more comfortable than this in terms of the feel. But look-wise, man, that's the winner. Playability. I mean. Feel wise, that's fantastic, you know. So, even the contours, the design is very nicely done. It's a thinner body than these two, okay. So, these two look very similar, but I've got to give it to, uh, you know, the Magnus Strat for this one as well. Coming to the fifth category, it's the body weight, okay. Um, on the site, Cadence listed this as a mahogany body, all right. So, I was expecting this with the thicker body to be, uh, you know, the heaviest, all right. Um, surprisingly, this guitar is the heaviest, all right. This guitar is the lightest, and this one is slightly heavier than this, slightly, like a touch, touch heavier, maybe a few grams, but this is like air, okay. So, definitely in this category, the cadence wins it. Now, just as you have a light body, um, you have a problem when it comes down to this next category, okay? Um, the moment I'm holding the guitar, let me just move that so I don't bang it. Look at this. I literally can't let my hand go. It's massive neck dive, okay? Same problem with this one. Um, major neck dive, okay? Stay, stay put, see that? doesn't stay put. And then we have the Magna Strat, which has a really nice thick body, okay? Good contours. See for yourself. Definitely without a doubt, in terms of neck dive, these two are as bad as SGs, and that is phenomenal. That's really, really well balanced uh, compared to these two. So that takes the cake for this category. Let's get to the seventh category. Currently, it's four to two, okay? Uh, set up out of the box. Um, when you receive the guitar, can you plug straight into the amp? How's it gonna be set up? How's it gonna feel? Uh, for me, this was the best, okay? I literally could just plug in and, you know, I could play away, the action has been set. I haven't even changed the intonation, changed the action, nothing on any of these guitars, okay? Um, this one's pretty bad, okay? This one was bad, like pretty bad. This one was worse. Now, even now when I'm playing it, sitar, sitar, the worst setup, okay? This has come from Bangalore. The least they could have done is, you know, set it up nicely. Um, Definitely pinging from the nut, definitely there's some issues in terms of uh, high fret playability, okay. Um, it's not enjoyable to play out of the box, but this was also pretty bad, okay. This was pretty, pretty bad. So, both of these guitars, you've got to get your act together in terms of setting up before you send it out to customers. All right, enough of this. I know you guys are dying to hear how these guitars sound, okay. I won't get into the further categories until we've done the playthroughs. We're going to have two playthroughs. For playthrough number one, okay, positions five to two, okay, not the bridge pickup, just uh, positions five to two into uh, the Tone Master Deluxe Reverb Amp 
I know a lot of you are fed up with uh, me using the Pliny plugin. So we finally got uh, a proper amp. Okay, we're going to use the reverb. We're going to have uh, the tremolo off. Okay, we're going to have a uh, bass at five, treble at five, volume at three. Okay, um, so that my neighbors don't come with pitchforks and do some clean lines, a uh, few chords uh, in all these positions. Okay, tone on full, volume on full for each of these guitars. Um, no post production at all for you. Let's get to it. So that was the clean playthrough. Which one did you like the best? For me personally, uh, I like that the best. Uh, clear, a little louder, nice pickups. I enjoyed these pickups, okay? 
mm, did not like these two pickups. Uh, this one was slightly louder than this one, could be wrong, I don't know, but to me it, it seemed that way. So these were better than this, this was not good at all, okay. Now let's get to the bridge pickup, we're going to go into my rev man, the high gain monster. Okay, we're going to have it on the red channel, okay, straight up, um, gain at half, okay. And then what I'll do is, I will put the gain at 3 o'clock, put on the white switch, have the aggression on, not on blue, but on red. Okay, so you've got a red, red. And I'm going to do a few lines for you. Let's get to it. That was the aggressive playthrough. All three, in my opinion, were not very good. Okay, um, not good, not good, not great. Okay, uh, but better than these two. So I'll definitely give it to that. So Magna Strat wins yet another point. So let's move on to category number ten: the tremolo and the hardware. Okay. Um, that one was set up the best, it comes back into tune, it's floating, these are against the body. Um, for me, this was okay, this was not that good, okay, in terms of the tremolo setup, okay, but both were not fantastic, that was, that was decent. Also, this guitar's hardware looks the best compared to these, okay. Um, these tuners are not at all good, complete trash. Uh, these tuners are also not good. But they're better than these two, okay? So in perspective, definitely that these tuners are far, far better than these, these ones. So for me, again, in this category, the Magnus Strat wins. Now let's get to the second last category, tuning stability. You know which one's the worst? Literally during the playthrough, I you know, had to tune this up so many times. It's just unplayable at times, you know, really not good. This one was okay, not fantastic, but still better than this. Okay, even though this tremolo was better than that tremolo, this tuning stability was bad on this man. Really, really bad. I'm, I'm, I'm not at all happy with this, you know. And that will lead into the next category. What happens, uh, you know, who's the winner in that one also as well. I'll get to that in a bit. I literally didn't have to tune this up much at all. So, very good. Uh, okay, not bad. Rubbish. Getting to the last category, okay. We've got 9, 2 and 0, okay? Um, what happens when you buy one of these guitars and you want to give them back, okay? Um, 
Personally, I know Aditya, I know Imran, so if I have a problem with any of the instruments, I can always tell them and they'll take them back. This has been the case also with a lot of, uh, you know, people who buy from the ProCraft website. If you've had a different experience than what I normally go through, then please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Okay, I want to be unbiased on this front. But as a newcomer person who, you know, is not into YouTube, um, this was a very pleasant experience giving this back, okay? Um, I got in touch with Neil Parmar from Bajao um, uh, via, via somebody and he gave me Tejas's number, Tejas Rathod uh, from the after sales service team. Really nice guy, he's taking the guitar back. They understood that, you know, hey, uh, you know, we didn't uh, list out all the, you know, the, the, the flaws of the guitar on the site when we said open box piece. So he's taking it back. Pleasant experience, very nice to interact with them. And you know, I've had the same experience before when I was not on YouTube, okay? Uh, I bought something from them and they took it back. No issues, you know? So for me, the after sales service of Bajao just, you know, made me feel happy. So although I like the ProCraft guys as well a lot, okay? This was quite a pleasant experience. So I'm going with Bajao, also they need a point, you know? So let's give them one, all right? So this is it. These guys are the worst, okay? Uh, when I called the Cadence store, I asked for Sagar's number, who's the manager uh, for Bangalore or maybe India, I don't know. Um, and I'm like, hey, I've had this issue. I bought this guitar from Amazon and it's buzzing like a sitar. It's badly set up. Oh, you need to send an email to Cadence uh, support team and then they will get back to you, blah, blah, blah. This one of our, you know, 10 minutes. I'm like, are you sure you want to be telling me this? Because I'm going to document whatever you say, you know, in a video. I'm going to state that and he's like, yeah, this is our policy. We don't, uh, if you bought it in the store, then you could come and exchange it in the store. But if it's online, then you have to send an email and this went on and on and on. And I'm thinking that's the worst possible after sales technique that you can ever adopt, you know, for anyone, especially a YouTuber, because this is going online, you know, whatever you say, I'm going to say exactly the same thing. So for me, definitely in this category, this was good. This was terrible, but this was fantastic. So. The Bajau guys win this particular category. As the end of the categories, 9 to 1, clear winner. Best Strat, under 10,000 rupees, no brain. I know some of you are like, hey, but we only have 7,000 rupees. Save your money. Save up. You're going to land up paying 11,000 rupees after you get a good gig bag, get a tuner, get a good cable, do the setup, go to the luthier for the fret ends, which are there on the, these guitars, okay? Um, it's not worth it in the long run, okay? For me, clearly, save your money up, buy this, it's the clear winner.